Whoa, can you f off? Taste of nothing. Stop it. Excuse me, that was my guts. Everything I just told you is incorrect. Konnichiwa, viewers. That's exhausted my Japanese. I'm James May. I'm here to try a range of authentic Japanese snacks. Or, in no particular order, these are... Put my children's TV presenter glasses on. Not that I can read any of this anyway. The tear arrow is multilingual. It is that. I'm going to guess cherries. And I'm right. They remind me of something from childhood. It might be the plastic cherry on top of one of those Bakewell tarts we used to get. You might want to cut because this is going to last for about two hours. Four out of five. Am I doing this correctly? These I know. These are pockies and these are fantastic. Hang on. This has got an English label on it and I'm talking complete, can I say bollocks on this? Because these are actually salted potato snacks. If you're from the British audience, you know cheesy Watsits. They taste like that, but they're long and thin. Which is odd, because I don't think there's any cheese in them. Five out of five. Excellent, with a very cold, hideously overpriced Japanese beer. Because that one was quite dry, I'm going to have a drink. It's got effectively a marble stopper in the top, and I think if you press on that, the rubber bit collapses. I could be wrong about that. I am wrong about that. Hang on. That's probably the Japanese for press on the top, you gaijin halfwit. There you go. That's disgusting. That tastes like a cross between Gatorade and the stuff, the mouthwash they give you at the dentist when you've just had a filling. One out of five, generously. I could honestly quite happily live in Japan. Look how beautifully it's packaged. It's probably very off message these days because Greta would want to have a word with the Japanese about how much of the Earth's resources they're wasting, making things look lovely, but they do look lovely. You're not sure when you've got to the end of the wrapping and the start of the actual snack that could still be covered in polythene. It is completely devoid of any flavor whatsoever. And this is an interesting thing about some Japanese foods. Some of them to us taste of nothing and the Japanese go, what do you mean it tastes of nothing? Our palates are genuinely different. One out of five for packaging and mystery. The odd thing about Japan is you hardly ever see anybody fat. Oh, you get a free gift. A tiny little dueling panda. So you've got a little panda printed on the biscuit. Mmm. Very, very intensely artificial strawberry flavour, but quite nice in moderation. Three and a half out of five. Ooh. You can buy these in some little corner shops in Japan for about 10 pence English money. And I think it is seaweed root. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They're slightly vinegary, a bit like a gherkin, but they are also seaweedy and slightly sweet. Five out of five, definitely six out of five for those. I'd share those around, seriously. So this is the winner, and they are delicious. Get yourself some of those if you can, and then sit down and watch me, our man in Japan, on Amazon Prime Video. Domo arigato. Said that with my mouth full. Terrible thing to do in Japan. They'll probably behead you.